What would you do without animation or, or any, anything creative that you're into now? What would you be doing? Like, what would you do without your art? What would you do? If I if you weren't in an animation or anything like that, what would you be doing? Or would you always try and be around? I don't know what I would. I, by profession, I am biologist. I uh, I studied biology. I work six year, six year like uh, ecologist. Uh, maybe you know it's uh, nice uh, to draw and to make film, but uh, uh, also very nice is uh, uh, to do nothing. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, to appreciate it. Yeah, it's inspiring for someone like me to see uh, such a creativity uh, in, in such a direction which I, I've never seen it, in taking that way before. Uh, Thank you. I think it's inspiring uh, to, to, to see when I come up with ideas. I know that I'm going to push those ideas to the best. And, and my background, uh, when I uh, my let's say art background. I started like uh, cartoonist. Yeah. I draw caricatures, and it's it's uh, yes, yes, and it's it's a very good training for your brain. Yeah. Uh, so all the uh, in my school when I teach, they all first year they draw in caricatures. It's it's very intensive now you know, because uh, for one animated film, school film, you it's three three minutes, but you're drawing all year this uh, preparation for this one week, yeah. So you don't you losing your brain. Yeah? Project as well whilst you're doing it, so mm -hmm. it's consistent. So I had such kind of intensive background. I have been now involved almost 20 years in yeah. teaching. So. Uh, and uh, just to inspire them, you have to show that uh, your brains are faster. You giving solutions like what's the most important thing you've taught your, your, any of your students for students? Or, yeah. Uh, there are a lot of things. You know, if you, you decide to be animated and. Uh, you cannot sit like 20 hours on the table. It's uh, you are not not animated. But if you if you don't have a good fantasy uh, and you are able to s sit like hours and hours, it's also not so good. So combination, you know. Uh, uh, I think very important is uh, some kind of. Uh, flexible thinking so that you don't sticking in you having some idea and you you don't taking this like finally you feeling that you can do this better and and or in your film there are a lot of ideas and you feeling that this very good idea don't uh, fit in your bigger system you're just okay. throwing it away you're just throwing it away you know that you're doing a new one uh, so uh, and it means that some kind you need uh, all the logical way of thinking so that to build up your structure of, yeah it's, you have you have to create a by your fantasy, exciting details, but to combine them, it means that you have to think in different way, like mathematics or engineer. You experience important in that mix as well. Uh, of course, experience is important, but uh, experience uh, in long term, it uh, could be also you know uh, you're becoming like like uh, stone you now. Uh, to combine uh, experience and with flexibility, you are experienced, but you are still open. This is complicated, but it's giving results. I think. But yes, the, the life experience mixed in with everything else. Yeah, and I think I I am happy that I, uh, uh, like last 20 years, I have been dealing with young people. People, you know, so uh, I mean teaching, so that. Uh, you're meeting new people, you have to uh, 
uh, approach them to, to find who is who and give them uh, what they need. So, so you are in moving. You are in moving all the time. You you're not uh, sitting in one place and thinking the same thoughts. Yeah, you are. Uh, you have to be flexible. You have to be open. Yeah.